What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Curly Fries BTD6 video and today we're going to be playing more of your guys' challenges. So Communist by Sirish11 has a 100% win rate which is hopefully going to be pretty good. Let's get into this. So round 40 here with 969,696 bucks. Um, basically just have to beat them all but that balloon speed is up by 500%. Ability cooldown rate is up by half. Removable cost rate is disabled. Ceramic health is 10% and mob health is 10%. There is no selling and we have one monkey max. So there are a few monkeys that we could choose from here but we need to think of one that can pop down the Moab and kill the very fast but low hp ceramic balloons and the first thing i'm thinking is a sniper this thing does not have that many upgrades but this thing is pretty weak so there is a chance there's a chance and we're dead honestly we could try the spike factor here since the ceramics have really low hp there's a chance that this could possibly work and kill a lot of the ceramics and moabs but obviously we need to test it out first because I might, I might be severely mistaken okay and yeah i was severely mistaken guys i apologize we have Flash Bomb. Flash Bomb could possibly help us a little bit. Um, we really just gotta see here, okay? Okay, 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 and that's not it. Do you think the Super Monkey alone could kill this guy? I mean, Super Monkey is very powerful, but nope, not powerful enough. Oh, Summon Phoenix should be able to. I don't know if we'll get the ability up in time. But, um, okay, well, it's obviously the Summon Phoenix. We just have to get this guy in a better spot, like here, maybe? Maybe, maybe it'll work here? Okay, let's see. Um, okay, it's very close. I have a theory that maybe we place him, like, off the map, and then if we use his ability, like, once the mob gets really far down the track, the ability could insta-kill it. That's what's going through my brain right now. So let's see if I am statistically correct. Um, nope, I am not correct. But I think if I placed him in a better spot, it could possibly work. Like, if I placed him down here... There's a chance that it could possibly work. All right, let's try this out. Ability, um, oh, we worked in that. Is that challenge down the train? Thank you so much for submitting that challenge, Sekros, and let's get into another one. So over here in the description below, you will see that I have a whole custom Discord. Well, I have a whole tab where well, it's basically called Challenges for Curly. You send me a challenge, I play them for a video. I had to make a whole new Discord. So um, if you're in the old Discord and uh, you want to submit challenges, you have to join the new one. This next challenge is going to be by Sekros11. 24% win rate. I am not excited to beat this challenge. Suffer and better be fast. Um, Sekros, I hope, I hope you made it easy on me. And if you did, I'm giving you a body pillow. So we have to beat round 200. 55 here with 166,000 bucks, 755 bucks in total. I think I already said bucks twice, but we have one heart, but we have 20 mana shield, which means we do have monkey knowledge enabled. Bloom speed is low, mob speed is low, ability cooldown rate is a little bit lower, ceramic health is very low, along with mob health. We have two max monkeys and we can sell them, so that's going to be very, very, very important. Let's just see what's on this round, okay? Um, DDTs, ZOMGs, a bad, and Moabs. Okay, absolutely perfect. So we need something that can pop camo lead and also just pop a lot of those things down. Um, wait, what type of monkeys do we have? So we only have a little bit of restrictions on these monkeys, so there are a lot of things that we could go for. First thing I'm thinking is getting like a Dark Knight here. Yeah, Dark Champion, we can afford that like this, and we can really get another monkey down if we need to. Let's just get Spirit of the Forest down, might as well. Let's see what this can do for us. Um, okay, if we can pop down these ddt's i think we will be in a good spot okay perfect we can also use the dark shift ability if we need to so we can get this guy closer to here okay that's gonna be a little risky but um can we pop down those guys oh my god okay we're gonna use this ability here and we missed those ddt's okay uh, attempt number two here um we won't we won't mess up like we did last time but um i i, I think i think that went pretty pretty well this time we could get like a carpet of spikes carpet of spikes could be really really good so wait a second use the carpet of spikes now upgrade him to that and then we can just use another carpet of spikes ability like once these get pretty far like this okay that is pretty pretty perfect now this thing is getting now these things are both getting a lot of pops which is very very nice okay come on use that ability okay um we really just need to deal with these bad's now which um yeah that's not going to be easy easier said than done most definitely but um we are trying here okay let's do this okay okay um, we have another Carpet of Spikes ability we could use, which I think we are going to have to use it. So there's two right there. Uh, and we can't clean up those Moabs. Okay, that was really not close. All right, we just really have to start trying out towers here. So let's get down the MAD with Laser Shock. And uh, let's try out the Spike Factor again. Honestly, this guy was pretty powerful for us. Let's do it again. Um, okay, okay, boom. And we have the MAD ability that we can use like this, which is getting a lot of damage done for us, which I heavily fuck with. 
All right, the MAD is definitely putting in a good amount of work for us, which I you love to see it from the MAD. Like, the MAD is definitely an A-game player, so you love to see whenever it just decides to lock in and kill absolutely everything just for you. He is a very, very heavily respected team player, and that's why everyone loves the MAD on their team. Okay, there's that. Now we really just have to deal with these BADs like this. Um, okay, this is definitely getting a little risky. Um, oh gosh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good, guys. All right, there are a lot of BADs coming down. Uh, get this guy to target like this. Then like this. Spike storm ability. What a what a save. What a save right there, boys. Okay, MAD ability. We gotta use it to, to, on defense. We have to use it on defense, not on attack. Okay, like this. Okay, okay, clean up. Clean up the ceramics. Yes, yes, yes. Clean them up. Oh gosh, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Ceramics, 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 moabs, 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 moabs. Okay, a lot of moabs. I don't know why I'm talking so much. There is just a lot of stuff going on. Ability, ability, ability. Okay, clutch ability. Clutch ass ability. Okay, there's that. Um, all right, this guy's about to pass a million pops, and we are looking pretty good. We can buy and resell, I just realized. So we have 78,000 bucks that we could really use on whatever we want. We only have a few more BFBs to handle. So what monkey could possibly help us in this situation? We could get the Dark Champion down. This guy was a very good defensive player like this. So we can get him down like this. And then we can use the MAD ability. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Can we take these guys down? There are a lot of balloons. Fortified BADs are not a joke. Let's see. Could we possibly do something like this? Okay, okay, wait, wait. Okay, I'm not locked in right now, okay? There's that. Okay, this is getting very, very close. Very high pressure here. Two more fortified BADs. It's definitely, it's not going to be easy. This is not going to be an easy thing to beat. So let's try it, okay? We got we to at least try a few times and we're dead. All right, I had a theory. What if we just built up a massive, like a massive pile of perma spikes in the back of the track? Now these, these, these MOABs are really low HP along with their ceramics. So hypothetically speaking, if we can stall for long enough... <coughs> Sorry for the cop there. We should be able to absolutely poop on everything here. All right, first off, we have to see if we can actually deal with these ceramics here, okay? Because we don't want to waste our perma spike pile. Deal with these moabs like this. Okay, there's that. Big herd of DDTs like this. Maybe, so the name is Be Quick, but what if in reality you have to be really, really, really slow? Like, it was just like a trick question, you know what I mean? Like, you just have to play it really, really slow, okay? So, there's that. Okay, we're just popping these mobs down. We're just taking a chill. I don't think the perma spike will be able to take care of all these guys, um, if I'm being honest. Um, but, um, it does not hurt to try. You know, you gotta, you gotta try all your options at once. But, yeah, this is a heck of a ton of stuff. Definitely not something that perma spike can take care of all of on his own. But, okay, okay, okay. Boom, there's this. Um, okay, okay. All right, all right. We're cooking up something here. We're cooking up a little something here. Okay, okay. Um, Perma Spike is definitely going to die here. Let's try to pop these guys down as much as we can. Um, Perma Spike is still somehow alive, but there's no way he's going to be able to deal with all of these DDTs and all, all these all these BADs and everything of those sorts. So right now, we just need to lower the blow completely. So try to kill as much of these mobs as we can like this. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Perma Spike is holding up. Perma Spike is holding up a little bit. So, get as much damage as we can on this. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Do a lot of damage here. Um, pop these guys down as much as we can. If we had permanent ability, dude, we would literally be winning every single game. Okay, now this is a true challenge. Can Perma Spike completely take care of everything? Not even close. That was a complete waste of time. Good job. So, what could it possibly be? I, I, I have no idea. The only problem with this is that it takes a long time to actually get to the end of the round. So only in like five attempts I took, it took me about like 10 minutes for only five attempts. So we need to get this done quickly and fast. I definitely, like I 100% think that it has to be the MAD. Like this MAD has been doing God's work for us. So I really think it is the MAD. But the question is like, what, what's the other second monkey that pairs with it? The MAD is absolutely cooking up everything. But those BADs are just too powerful for it. What if it's the balloon exclusion zone? We might have enough money to get that thing down. So what if it was just these two towers all along and I just never knew? Um, okay, let's try this out. I wanted to set this to target independent. And then control. Yeah, this is looking pretty good, okay? Deal a lot of damage to these guys. 
The balloon exclusion zone is really just there to clean up all the balloons. Wait, I thought I had this guy on normal. Oh, I need him on normal. Okay. So we have that. Okay, well, this is looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good here. Okay, clean up all these Moabs with the ability. All right, yeah, wait, this is actually looking really, really good. Another ability like this. And we can also buy and resell. Like, if we just get to the BADs, we can just buy and resell. All right, yeah, this is this is nice. This is nice. You love to see it. That is a lot of balloons, though. I cannot cap to any of you guys watching. That is a lot of balloons. That is a lot of balloons. And I don't think we have enough to clean it up. Um, let me just look at the map. Oh, I was going to look at, like, how actually, yeah, how much pops did this guy get? 327. That guy got 660,000. We just need a monkey that can get a really good amount of pops to pair with this dude. Let's try the Apache Prime. Apache Prime is very powerful and it should be able to clean it up and do a lot of damage to those really tanky balloons. So let's see if this guy can do it. He just can't see camo. That is going to be the only problem, but we should be good because he's getting a lot more pop. He's getting more pops than the, than the goddamn MAD. This is really good. Okay, wait. We're only on the BADs now, so we could sell absolutely everything and just, like, uh, find, find something that can take these guys down. But this combo is really, really, really nice. Now, I don't know if we'll have the power to just take it down, like, right here. But I think, I think we're definitely learning a lot. Like, this guy is getting a heck of a ton of pops. Um, okay, clean up those. We just need to, we just need to worry about the DDTs, alright? So, there's that. All right, all right, perfect. This is looking really good, okay? DDTs are the only issue now. Okay, cl come on, come on, clean them up, clean them up, clean them up, clean them up, clean them up. Okay, we can leak, we can leak a few balloons here. Um, I'm gonna save the ability for like something like this when these DDTs get too far. All right, this is looking very goddamn good for us, boys. Come on, come on here. Okay, okay, ability. Oh my god, oh my god. No, we were too late. But that has to, God, that has got. To be it that was literally like a perfect run i definitely think that we found the combination boys all right let's get it let's go all right all right all right ddts we just need to worry about the ddts again that's the only thing this mad is really here for ddts and just supporting this dude so get a lot of damage done here kill these ddts all right boom 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 this mad spot is also really really powerful i just realized um, I need a keybind so I can just activate my ability whenever I want, but we are already back down to just the BADs, okay? Deal with these DDTs here, okay? Boom, boom. All right, perfect. Um, use the ability here. Just do a lot of support damage, especially to these back BADs. Now we'll start to pop down these front BADs, okay? There's the DDTs. Okay, boom, boom, boom. There's that. Ability usage. All right, all right. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking really good. This is looking really good. We'll leak that. We'll leak that yellow blue just so we can get extra damage in. All right. This MAD spot is also really goddamn good. Um. Okay, cop down these guys. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. We have the ability up. We're going to save the ability for the end once we pop down this final fortified one. Um. Okay, okay. We should be good here. We should be able to survive this. And then we'll use this ability for the last one once we pop it down. Boom, ability usage. Clutch those DDTs. Kill the ZOMGs. Come on, come on. We have to be able to take these ZOMGs down. All right, Moabs, Moabs, Moabs. Come on, come on here. Come on, you bloody, come on, you bloody legend. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get it. Let's go. That is round 255 completed. Thank you for submitting that challenge, Sekros. And today was a very good challenge video. So if you enjoyed this video or enjoyed me as a person or just my content in general, it really would mean a lot if you could subscribe or like the video. Um, Like I said, it really meant a lot. Uh, we had a lot of fun today, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully, I will see every single one of you guys in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe. Later.